Welcome back guys, my name is Patrick aka Chief Pat and today bringing you guys a brand new video. Now today I wanted to talk about something with you guys that I've brought up in the past but I've never really made a video for it by itself and that's going to be talking about Town Hall 8 and when you look at Town Hall 8, Town Hall 8 is the weirdest place when it comes to gold and elixir upgrades. It's extremely unbalanced for the fact that you can't upgrade your walls, your level eight walls using Elixir. And I'm gonna break that down for you guys. And I'm sure you guys, if you've gone to Town Hall 8 in the past and tried to max out for that Town Hall level, you've seen how much Elixir you have left over. And I'm sort of just gonna show you guys some of the other Town Hall levels and why they don't have that exact problem. So first of all, let's take a look at Town Hall 7. Now I'm gonna show you guys the cumulative costs of each Town Hall level. And when you take a look at Town Hall 7, it costs 28 million to do all of the gold upgrades throughout your base. That doesn't include walls, that's only talking about your buildings, but it costs 28 million gold. Now when you take a look at Elixir, Elixir actually costs 33 million at Town Hall 7. So it costs a little bit more than your gold upgrades because of course it includes the laboratory among some other things, as well as you train your troops using Elixir, but how they counterbalance that is that walls cost 40 million gold, 41 million gold at Town Hall 7. So in total, 69 million gold it costs at Town Hall 7 to upgrade absolutely everything, including your walls, and 33 million elixir. So even though the gold is double the elixir, 30 million elixir, you're gonna cut into that using donations, you're gonna cut into that training troops for your army. So Town Hall 7, at worst, you're only gonna have a couple of days to maybe a week of having your elixir store just full, maybe two weeks, but it's really not too big of a deal. So I think Town Hall 7 is actually pretty balanced now let's take a look at town hall 8 so at town hall 8 you have 112 million gold to upgrade your buildings so that's to upgrade all of your buildings not including your walls that's pretty much it for town hall 8 and when you take a look at elixir elixir only costs 71 million elixir to do everything so 71 million elixir for your laboratory 71 million elixir for your buildings so it's already 50 percent less than the cost of uh, the buildings but then you have to take a look at the walls, and this is one of the strangest things. The walls for Town Hall 8 cost 128 million gold for a total of 240 million gold spent at Town Hall 8. And when you look at Elixir with only 71 million Elixir to upgrade all of your buildings and your labs, I don't care if you're training up dragons for every single army composition, you are simply going to run out of things to do with Elixir way before you've maxed out your Town Hall for your Town Hall level. And one of the most confusing things is, if you guys remember when they released the feature where you could upgrade some of your walls using both gold and elixir they actually made it in the very beginning to where you could upgrade your level 8 walls using elixir and it was fantastic it solved the problem at town hall 8 where you had absolutely nothing to upgrade your elixir with but i think like a couple of weeks to a month later they removed it out of the game and it never really made sense to me i asked questions i never really got an answer that i was satisfied with it just feels like there's this giant hole at town hall 8 where you just simply run out of stuff to upgrade for example, let's just take one more look at another Town Hall level and go up to Town Hall 9. Now, when you look at Town Hall 9, you have 217 million upgrades to do in gold and 107 million upgrades to do with Elixir. And if you take a look at walls, walls cost an unbelievable 1 billion gold or Elixir at Town Hall 9. But the thing is, you can upgrade those using both resources. You'll never be full on Elixir because you can always use those to upgrade your walls. So Town Hall 9 really doesn't run into that problem of having a resource being wasted. It's really only at Town Hall 8 where you you have almost tripled the amount of gold required compared to Elixir, and it just makes no sense whatsoever. I'm on Town Hall 8 on one of my accounts right now. I'm nowhere close to maxing it out, but I remember the struggle on two of my other accounts going to Town Hall 8 and just having this problem with nothing to do with my Elixir. I don't understand why you can't upgrade your walls for level 8 uh, to level 8 walls using Elixir because it would totally make Town Hall 8 look way better. Instead of having 240 million gold versus 71 million Elixir, it would go back to being only 112 million in building upgrades for gold and then 71 million for Elixir. So it just makes so much more sense if you were able to use your upgrades and your elixir on those walls at level 8, and I'm not sure exactly why they don't do that. 500,000 isn't necessarily super cheap, but it just really extends the process that you're going to be at Town Hall 8, uh, and it just doesn't make really any sense to me whatsoever. I know a lot of people like grinding out their walls, but just sitting there with your full elixir storages are, is so depressing, and it's one of those weird balance points inside of the game that I never really truly understood. So 
that's pretty much it for me. Glad I could provide you guys with a little bit of molt math today as far as the town hall levels go and the, the math associated with them. So let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think that town hall eight is fine as it currently is having triple the amount of gold than elixir at the town hall level? Uh, or just if you have an opinion, let me know in the comment section below. But that's going to do it for me. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.